Bills Ravens this Saturday. Let's break it down. Thank you for liking, for commenting, and subscribing to Let's Talk Lions. So check it out. This weekend, we got the Bills and Ravens facing off. You look at both teams last week, they got the proverbial monkeys off their backs. Both of them. Lamar Jackson, can he win a playoff game? He hasn't won one yet. Blah, blah, blah. Lamar did it. Won the game. The proverbial monkey is removed. Then you look at the Buffalo Bills. They haven't won a home playoff game. They haven't even been in this type of position in 25 years. So they get that monkey off their back over here. So you look at that. Both teams, they go into those games last week and you look at it and there's this element of conservative playoff play. This, hey, it's not the regular season anymore. You can't just lose and then come back next week and tear it up. It's now or it's never. It's all in. It's playing poker with a room full of cats with sunglasses on and cigars pushing those chips in. And that's what it was last week for both teams. You can tell, you know, watching the Buffalo Bills game, you watch the OC, Brian Dable. He made a lot of calls that were very lackluster, very... you're. You look at this season, and I'm very used to watching Josh Allen just huck the ball 40 yards, just calling it a day. And we didn't really see a lot of that until after halftime. There was the, all right, guys, get in there, play a little bit, use the first half, get acquainted with the game. This is a playoff game, so it matters. Everything is on the line. Same with Baltimore. I watched Baltimore the first half. It felt very lackluster. And that's a lot of what goes into these playoff games, but specifically for two teams that had Donkey Kong playing chicken on top of their shoulders. You know, you you got these guys out there trying to take the step further for the franchise so that they can actually get out there the following week and tear it up the way that they know how. Which leads me to my main point here. Now that both teams, now that Lamar, now that Allen, Now that the Ravens, now that the Bills have this off their back, they can enter into this next game tearing it up, lighting it up, playing the type of game that they really want to play and that they excel in. I think Brian Dable, OC for the Buffalo Bills, can now make a lot of these play calls that he didn't make last week because you're just trying to get that first win. You're trying to break through the barrier of the stratosphere. So very specifically, when you look at the Buffalo Bills, they're a pass forward team. They have such a dynamic, dynamic wide receiver core between Diggs and Beasley and Davis and McKenzie and Brown. Their wide receiver core, and that's not even including Dawson Knox or Croft, these tight ends. Wide receiver core alone, very dynamic. Allen can toss the ball like none other. He gets out there. He can hit these guys in these tight windows. Look at those three plays by Davis where he just drags the toes and the ball's right there on the edge. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And so I really think going into this week, you could see a lot more of that. But one of the main issues is they're calling for a lot of snow in Buffalo. They are saying at the moment, the weather could be How do you say poor? Now, what that does mean is passing the ball becomes a lot dicier. And what does that mean for Josh Allen? Is he going to be rearing back, hucking the ball? Because more mistakes can be made. The ball's slippery. The hands are colder. Guys are falling down. Picks are much more susceptible. One thing to note is Buffalo's running back, Zach Moss, is out. He did get injured. That was kind of, it was a scary moment. I thought it was going to be more neck. I believe it was either, I think it was his ankle that he ends up injuring in that game. And he'll be out for the rest of the postseason, most likely, if the Bills are to continue forward. So that means Devin Singletary is going to be taking the grunt work in the backfield. Not to mention, though, Josh Allen can run, and Dable called for a lot of pass options or strictly Allen run plays last week, so we'll probably see that again, especially if it is snowing. We will see Allen carry that ball. 
I don't know if we're going to see a very passing forward type of offense from Brian Dable from the Buffalo Bills. And you're already now on the flip side. You look at the Baltimore Ravens. They're not a passing centric team. That is a run forward offense. Where did Lamar Jackson do most of his damage, man? There was that one play last week against Tennessee where he drops back to pass looking deep and he ends up running 40 plus yards, right? That's the type of offense that the Baltimore Ravens really consist of. One key area for the Baltimore Ravens is converting on third down. Shoot, if you can convert on third down and have time possession in your favor, that's why Indianapolis had such a good run against Buffalo. They held onto the ball. And if you're holding onto the ball and the clock is ticking and you're in control of that, Man, that's where you're going to find a W, especially against this vicious Buffalo Bills offense. Now, on the flip side for Buffalo, hey, listen, that defense, you have to contain, absolutely contain Lamar Jackson. You look at the way he played up against Tennessee. You look at the way he's played all year. The guy is unbelievable. And he can workshop in a lot of areas that other people can't, a lot of other quarterbacks can't. And so if you can contain Lamar Jackson, I think you contain the game. You shut down his legs, I think you take the W. All in all, this is going to be a great game. Baltimore versus Buffalo, a running offense versus a passing offense, two dynamic quarterbacks. I think it's going to be a fun one. I do think, being that the game is in Buffalo, that the weather is going to be bad, and with the proverbial monkey off of Allen's and the Bills' backs, I think Buffalo takes the W. What do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Let me know. And I'll catch you next time on Let's Talk Lions.